I hope you enjoy! To start this video off, I am going to be outlining a very faint drawing I have done, starting with the hat, and I'm going to work down. Then, outlining the first circle of our snowman, and the circle in the eyes, they, they go. This snowman was inspired by all the snow that we have been getting this week outside. It has been crazy. We have gotten so much snow nonstop all week. Now moving on to the second tier of the snowman where I have put a scarf, a few buttons, and these very, very skinny little arms with mittens on the end of them. Obviously to cover the hands. In real life though, I don't know how those mittens would stay on. Like, it just wouldn't work. Then, I am do doing the third tier of the snowman. Adding the buttons to that tier too, just a little larger. It seems as though quite a few highlights in this video die. Now I am going to start racing, going from the top and down. Racing is probably my favorite part because after you race, the drawing just looks so clean and just beautiful in this stage. Belt. So this hat is an old fashioned top hat. I don't know if they are trending right now, but who knows, maybe the snowman doesn't care about trends at all. That's probably the scenario. purple because later on I felt like it went well with all the other colors that I chose for the other dressy things that the snowman is wearing and then just patting off the, the dust from the pencils. And now I'm going to be coloring in the eyes and see told you those round things the eyes would go i don't even know what i was thinking when i uh put them in they they just left real quick doing the carrot nose a classic carrot orange with the lines of the rivets of the carrot and then doing the stick mouth then I'm going to be doing a checker pattern on the scarf. This checker pattern is yellow and blue. And I, I really like these colors together. I think that they look super pretty. Zooming in to that. Whoa, that was weird. I was trying to make this perspective look, o look, o look okay, but it just wasn't happening. What did I just do? Rewind slow motion. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. And then... Hey, it's finished. Look how fast that went. Now I'm doing the buttons. Now, it was very, very difficult to get around those little string things in the scarf. It, it was just very, very difficult to do that. And then moving down. Now, these highlights... On these, I am keeping because, like, the buttons need highlights. But the big, big, just huge round one on the bottom one, I did not like that one enough to keep it. So it, it went. As you can see, it went. In all the videos I have done so far and... In more to come, I will be using Prisma colored pencils as the colored pencils that I always use. 
I feel like they give the most vibrant color without having to press a lot. And they just look very nice. You know how coal and buttons have like streaky lines on them and like ridges? So that's what I'm adding here. It, I know that they're straight and that's not very, I guess, realistic. Oh my gosh, my dog just put his toy around his neck. Back from that minor interruption, now I am going to be putting the little markings on the arms because I am going to make these arms birch. I just love the way that birch looks. And then doing the actual birch, not the marks, a lighter tan. And then just doing the, cra uh, the cross hatches and lines for that. And then I will repeat on the other arm. Now, zooming in on the mittens, which I have chosen to do red stripes with some orange filling. Now, this snowman has a lot of patterns on him and is really crazy, but I think it's balanced out by just how plain the actual snowman's body is, because he's just plain white with a little bit of shading. So, he's, um, pretty plain except for all the patterns and I think that's what ties it all together and now I am drawing a few little snowflakes or stars in the sky and these I were trying to make about the same size and space them out evenly at first but that didn't really work and then I am shading in the background a very very light blue you little pencil are attracting way too much attention. Okay, and here's where all my pencils decide to fall out on me. Yeah, that took a little while to put back in order. Once they are all back in order, though, I am going to be shading in the ground around the snowman. Such a light silver that you can't even tell I did it. And here is the final picture. As I said before, I think this snowman turned out really well. I think that I am going to name him Cole, since he has a ton of black coal-type things all over him. Well, thank you for watching the first part of this video. You thought I was done didn't you? Part two, I will be making an extra special bonus bake. It will be maple snow candies to go with our friend Cole. To make my maple candies, first I am going to turn the burner on to medium high, put in my one cup of maple syrup, and two tablespoons of butter. And then we let that boil. And use the spatula to get the rest of the syrup out like so. Just like this. Once this comes to a boil, we are going to boil it for 12 minutes or until it reaches 235 degrees Fahrenheit. Here is it beginning to boil. The butter has melted. Start button. The counter has begun. It's starting to stabilize now with seven minutes and 45 seconds left. We have to keep waiting. Don't forget to stir your, your mixture every once in a while so that it doesn't burn on the bottom of the pan. Is that 
It wouldn't be very fun to have burned maple candies. We are now nearly at the halfway point, six minutes. And the temperature of this is 226 at the moment. It'll probably keep climbing. Yep, 228 now. It's nearing 235, but it stopped at 228. It's counting down at 30 seconds. The countdown has begun. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We are finished. Off to get on boots and coats. If I were you when pouring these, I would pour them in little blobs instead of long lines. And if you're going to pour them in long lines, make sure that they are very thick and sturdy so they, so they don't break like how mine did later. Also, don't pour them as thin as I pour them. This is way too thin. They all broke into tiny little pieces. So, like I said before, just stick with big blobs. And if you want to, you could make shapes like I attempted to here. But make sure that, like I said, they are thick. Because if they're not, they break. Here, I was... It's just streaming out the last little bit of maple. Now we just have to let that cool. Here I was showing how the pot sinks in the snow. Okay, here goes. Oh, it's not hot. Oh, wow. Whoa, this is a big one. It's hot in some spots, but pretty cool. Whoa, <laughs> it's really brittle. I get a little piece. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now get out there and make your own snow candies. And don't forget to press the subscribe button so you never miss a video. I was trying to get him to sit down, but he clearly wasn't having that. Instead, he was more fascinated with me throwing snow in the air.